Hello dear fans. How to calculate the volume of the container. Tanks are used for storage and transportation of various gases, liquids, and bulk solids, food products, building materials, fuels, chemicals, etc. By their shape, containers can be cylindrical, conical, in the form of a ball or parallelopiped. Of course, there may be other forms of containers, but we will focus on the named ones. Let's see how the volume of these geometric bodies is calculated. It is necessary. Roulette, Calculator, A Guide to Elementary Mathematics Instructions Step 1. Capacity in the form of a cylinder Measure with a tape measure the height and diameter of the base of the cylinder, usually, gas cylinders, barrels and tanks for various liquids, as well as glass, plastic and metal cans for canned food products have this shape. Divide the diameter by 2 to get the radius. Multiply the area at the base of the cylinder, the area of the circle, is 3, 14 asterisk the radius squared, by its height. This is the volume of the cylinder. Step 2. The container is in the form of a cone. Measure the base diameter and the height of the cone with a tape measure. Use a calculator to calculate the volume of the container. It is equal to one-third of the product of the area of the base, circle, and the height of the cone. Step 3. A container in the form of a ball. Measure the diameter of the ball with a tape measure. If this is difficult to do, measure the circumference, grab the ball along the equator or prime meridian with a tape measure, i.e. in the place where the circumference is maximum. In order to calculate the diameter, the resulting value must be divided by the number pi, that is, 3, 14. Divide the diameter in half, this will be the radius. The volume of the ball is equal to four-thirds of the product of the number pi and the radius of the ball in the cube. Step 4. Capacity in the form of a parallelopiped. Measure with a tape measure the width, height and length of the parallelopiped, that is, three sides that have one common point. Multiply the values obtained. This will be the value of the volume of a container of this type, often used for storing and transporting various liquids. Thanks for watching.